What's up YouTube, Asian Cinema Takeout, back again after a two month long hiatus, I've returned with a nice stack of Asian cinema goodness, and we're going to start things off with this nice little four pack I got at the pawn shop, four movies for a buck, I couldn't let them pass, especially when I saw that Bohachi Bushido, Ko the Forgotten 8 was in the stack, uh, directed by Tero Ichi, he's done Japanese Hell, Blind Woman's Curse, he has 93 movies on his directorial a resume he is a legend in japanese cinema and these are like a burn on demand but they're very well uh done there's a menu the subtitles are awesome and the transfer looks great uh just really awesome to finally be able to see this movie i saw the trailer was blown away and it's just a sleazy mean-spirited beginning because i've only seen the first 30 minutes and i can't wait to finish the rest of it also included was dora Heita, uh, I believe this was written by Akira Kurosawa, and it is a comedy of sorts. So, yeah, looking forward to getting to that. And these older ones, this one's from 1959, Crescent Scarred Samurai and the Acrobats of Death. Yeah, I really couldn't find too much about that one. And this one as well, Mito One, this was from 1957. But yeah, really looking forward to checking those out. Love my old Japanese cinema flicks. And we're going to continue on with some more punch out pickups. I picked up Steam Boy from the director of Akira, which is, I believe, it's like a 10 year in the making movie. And I'm a big fan of Akira, and I've always seen this trailer, was always intrigued by it. So I'm really stoked to check it out finally. And there's also like a little cool insert there, including some, uh, some artwork. So that's kind of cool. Also, some Japanese cinema. I have some Takashi Miike in this really uh, fun-looking uh, Killer Elite 4 feature film set with some Steven Seagal in there, but don't let that fool you. I picked it up only for Yakuza Apocalypse, Takashi Miike. It's one I've yet to see, and yeah, that's that's what I'm looking forward to checking out. I also did pick up some Hong Kong and Chinese cinema. I have Ip Man, The Final Fight. Now, I don't have any if the Ip Mans. I would love to have some of the Donnie Yens, of course. But, a hey, can't go wrong with Anthony Wong. Love me some Wong. And, of course, I had to give me some Jet Li. And this is one I didn't have. Legend of the Red Dragon. I was reading the back. I believe this doesn't come... Uh, this comes, comes dubbed, I believe. So, eh, it is what it is. Still looking forward to checking it out. Added to the Jet Li collection. And here's one that... I picked up the Rated R edition. It's the only one they had available. Directed by Ang Lee. Lust and Caution. And yes. Missing about three minutes. The unready to cut. You know. It's a little more sleazier. But uh, hey. I did want to. I am curious. I want to check it out. And you know. For a dollar. Couldn't pass it up. I will eventually upgrade to the unrated. When I do come across it. I have my friend. Uh, well. He hooked me up with an early birthday present. Let's just put it that way. I got a package in the mail yesterday. This was included. Sex and Zen and a Bullet in the Head. The Essential Guide to Hong Kong's Mind-Bending Films. Awesome read. I flipped through it. It is just everything I want to know about Hong Kong cinema. And yeah, this is awesome. It's a perfect read for me. Good coffee table book. Definitely won't leave my sight anytime soon. And he also threw in a few movies. So let's jump into those right now. I have some Korean cinema he hooked me up with. Some Korean horror. The Red Shoes. Now this is one I have don't know much about at all. It's one of the early Korean horrors. And I've really only like tapped into Korean horror. Uh, some of the more modern stuff. You know, I Saw the Devil and, after, and stuff beyond that. But yeah, so I'm really curious to check out some of this older uh, Korean horror. As well as Nightmare. Is one I have not seen as well. And uh, yeah, really interesting uh, watch, it looks like. I love me some Korean horror. All right, and he also threw in some Hong Kong and Chinese goodness in there. We're going to start off with the Blu ray City Under Siege. Aaron Kwok and Colin Chu and Shu Ki is in here, who I just love. And this comes with reversible cover art. I did flip it over. I've dug this one more. He hooked me up with the Blu ray and DVD, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, have not seen this. Don't know much about it other than Shu Ki is in it, and I'm a huge fan. <laughs> All right, now we got some Naked Killer here. 
Now this looks like a complete, like, utter, just balls to the wall kind of flick that I'm into. Simon Yam, Ching Mi Yao. Yeah, I actually did find this movie in here. So this is uh, going to be one of those that I'm going to put at the top of the stack because it just looks like it, it has everything I want. <laughs> Some sleaze, some cheese, some over-the-top action. So I'm really looking forward to checking out Naked Killer. And also Dragon Inn, a Thai Sang release. Now, I did see the trailer to this in um, one of my older Thai Sangs I picked up a couple months ago. And it was really intriguing because Donnie Yen's in it, Tony Lung, Maggie Chung. Great cast. And it's also a, a Shu Hark produced flick. And yeah, I love these epics right here. They're a lot of fun. And I'm a big Donnie Yen fan. And Maggie Chung, she's just awesome. And speaking of Tai Sangs, he also threw in Bet to Basic, which looks like a comedy of sorts. And I'm a big fan of comedies. Recently, I've really caught the comedy bugs. After watching some horror, some, some crime dramas, I just need to relax with a romantic comedy or just a comedy, of, you know, and I'm good. But yeah, Bet to Basic. Uh... I don't believe I've seen the trailer of this, but it's a Tai Sang release, and I love Tai Sang releases. All right, and he also threw in Final Master. He threw in the DVD of this. He kept the Blu-ray. And this is one I haven't even heard about. And I really don't know much of the much about any of the actors. Other than, um, It says it's the writer of The Grandmaster. It's one I, I'm not sure if I've seen that one or not. I've been watching a lot of movies on Netflix, guys. That's why I've been kind of like out <laughs> you haven't been doing like my seven deadly venoms video but uh yeah we're gonna finish it off with the last goodie hooked me up with and this is epic right here the angela mao ying the angela mao collection i'll just put it that way that's how i know her uh yeah oh this has a gr uh, a bunch of films i have yet to see when taekwondo strikes the tournament stoner the himalayan a queen's ransom and broken oath broken oath is one i've been wanting to see for a while now and he hooked me up with the dvds of these and i cannot wait to get my angela mao on i think she is smoking hot so that's gonna be it guys for my nice little haul for october i hope you guys enjoyed leave me a few comments give me a like and i'll see y'all next time very soon all right peace guys